we're at Percy Priest WMA and today we're talking about fishing and more importantly we're talking about habitat. Kind of gone into this uh, reservoir habitat initiative and this was just one type of fisher tractor that we plan to deploy through that uh, project. We're putting together what we call pipe structures. So these are corrugated pipe, uh, black corrugated pipe, and we've got concrete blocks that we're putting them in. And this will create some fish, uh, basically fish habitat. They're on the 60 pound bags, but I think there's 3,200 pounds in a pallet, about about 60 pounds a bag. I slung them all. Put that for a workout. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to go to the gym when you do this. We're going to build about 400 of these today, about 400 we're going to actually pour with concrete and once the concrete sets up in about a week we'll be able to deploy them out in the lake. So you may be asking yourself why are they taking all the time to build all these structures just to throw them in the lake? Well it's because our lakes are getting older and underwater looks like a desert. Most of our reservoirs have been impounded for 50 plus years and all that natural woody habitat's gone. Uh, and it, it just provides these fish a place to go. We're gonna take them out and uh, we're putting about 50 per buoy site. We've got fish attractor buoys out on all of our reservoirs. And we're gonna put about 50 of these on every side. thing about these is that they last a lot longer than our, our Christmas trees, uh, cedar trees, and the other thing is that we try to make these so that you can run a, a spinner bait through it, run a crankbait through it, and not get hung up. And we have placed some around some fishing piers and other things, and we know that they work. We've uh, electrofished and uh, all kinds of fish, from uh, bluegill to crappie to bass to, to you name it, everything is in there. So. Uh, kind of excited about these. There's going to be 50 of these on those buoyed sides. So if you think about it, there's four of these pipes per block, so that's uh, 200 sticks sticking up, essentially. But that plastic is, is buoyant, so they do, uh, almost looks like a palm tree under the water. We try to build them as best we can by pouring a lot of concrete around them. What's nice is that you've got uh, they're, they're kind of this ribbed texture, kind of like a, putting a screw into wood. You know, the, the concrete will wrap all around it. A structure like this might last forever. Here's we actually had a crew back in the 80s that had put some out in both Percy Priest and Normandy, and those are still intact and working, and uh, so uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> Basically, your, your algae and microorganisms will get on there first after a few weeks of being in the water. And what that does is it attracts your smaller fish, which brings in your bigger fish, and uh, hopefully anglers will be successful. I mean, that's, what, that's why I got into this field. I want to make fishing better. I'm a fisherman myself, so I care about this kind of stuff. This isn't going to make more fish, but it's simply going to take the fish that are in there and hopefully concentrate them around these structures to hopefully make fishing better.